Hello! Boom! Yes, it's that time of the month again. It's June 2014. It's a box full of stuff. It's Croot Late, or something or other. And this month's theme is transform. Which I'm hoping means it's full of Transformers stuff, because I quite fancy some Transformers stuff. Although, I should point out that I did love Transformers when I was very young, but I'm only familiar with the very early stuff, which I believe they now call Generation 1 or something or other. If it's got Beast Wars stuff in, I shall be very disappointed, because that seemed like a load of ass. Why is the robot turning into a big gorilla? Why is the CGI so poor? Why am I too old to care? That was Beast Wars for me. Anyway, fingers crossed, lots of Generation 1 Transformers stuff, or at the very least the box transforms into an aircraft carrier or something. So I have previously slit the uh, tape open, having learnt my lesson before, and inside... Oh, wow, that's really beautifully packed, this one, look at that! T-shirt, let's do the T-shirt first. Ooh, an interesting looking thing. We'll look at that in a minute. T-shirt! It is... Well, it's the bright red Transformers thing. It's got the old uh, Generation 1 box design. I like that. Time Traveller, Marty McPrime. I see what they've done there. Look, they've made a sort of Marty McFly Transformer, who presumably transforms into the DeLorean and back. It's one of those culture mashup things which are massively popular in T-shirts. It's like, here's something you like, here's something else you like. Let's put them together in a way that doesn't always work and sell t-shirts with the picture on. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure about this from a sort of uh, conceptual standpoint, but it is very beautifully done. It's very nicely drawn. I quite like that. It's nice to have a, a red t-shirt actually as well. It's nearly always black. So full marks there. Right, like that one. Generation 1, I'm happy. And next is something else. Generation 1-y look. It's a little deformed Optimus Prime. The loyal subjects cross the Transformers. The loyal subjects? What? What? The loyal, are they the people who make it? Are they the people who sculpt it? No idea. Right, um, hmm. It's a pity these vinyl things are always super deformed, isn't it? Why have they always got the giant heads? Well, because it's cheaper to produce because they can use just a sort of standard body as opposed to changing the body shape for all of them, I suppose, but um, Never mind, I would like one in normal proportions one day, please, sir. Thank you. Right, what have we got to offer? Megatron, Soundwave, Starscream, Thundercracker. Oh, nobody wants Thundercracker. He's like Starscream, but boring. Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, Jazz, Grimlock. They're actually really well picked, I will say, apart from bloody Thundercracker. At least they all have different heads apart from Thundercracker. Basically, we don't like Thundercracker. Can you get that idea? Right, let's open it up. I'm trying to think of what was the one that had different wings? Had little um, rotors in the wings. Thrust, was it? Oh, I don't know. So many years ago. Right, box, open. Blimey, some good glue on that. My god, you'd hold down a building in a tsunami with that one. Right. Ooh, ooh, I was going to say it's a Decepticon, but then I turned it over and it could equally be an Autobot. Right, come on, which one do I actually want? Um, Soundwave would be quite cool. And it is, ooh, it is Grimlock, being grim and locky. He comes with weapons, he's got his red sword of having a chip in it and a weird gun that shoots two things at once so as to be entirely inaccurate. Superb! Oh my god, it even gives you the old-fashioned um, character information card look where you put your red bit of plastic over there and see a crap graph. Marvellous. So what's it like? Hmm. The paint's not 100% around the eyes, I don't know if you can see that. Um, seems to be alright in the rest of the body. Typical sort of vinyl feel to it. Oh, it's articulated to... Uh, hmm, quite a bit of articulation for one of these actually. It gets bonus points for that. Looks very square, but I don't know. I just can't get into the super deformed thing myself. Such a shame. Oh, look, even more articulation. That is a really good vinyl figure, as vinyl figures go, actually. And it is from the era of Transformers I would have wanted. Well done. We get more points thrown at you for that. And next up... Oh god, I hope... Ah, oh. Ugh! Oh. This is sticky! Oh, that's... What the hell? Oh god, they've put sweets in here! Extreme... Oh, blimey, hang on. Oh, God, they're so sticky. It's probably got too hot in transit or something. There's been a lot of, a lot of heat around here, weather-wise. And, yeah, one of them's leaked slightly, and... Oh, thanks for that, lads. Good grief. I just had a really horrible thought. Could be something to do with the awful Michael Bay Transformers films, couldn't it? Which I've actually flushed from my memory. Never mind, not so far. This is... Mlug. Mlug. I see. Right, what is this, a wristband? Well, it's keeping in with the early 80s vibe, I suppose. Um, yeah, oh god, my fingers are so sticky off those bloody sweets. Um, MLG, 
absolutely no idea whatsoever. Is that a joy pad? And a little bit of spare thread, and it seems to be coming unravelled already. So it's basically a low quality sweatband with something on I've never heard of. <coughs> MLG, can we guess? The G has got to be gaming, it's got a joy pad. Um, monkeys love gaming. There we are. They're giving old consoles to monkeys in order to improve their cognitive functions. That's what I've decided. Well, thanks for that, whoever that is and whoever is advertising. I haven't got a frickin' clue. I shall look in the little book at the end. Oh no! Oh lads, I thought you'd stop doing these bloody books printed out. Oh, I thought you'd gone to like an online PDF version. Oh, more money spent that could have been spent on stuff inside, like extra sweets that are leaking. Ooh, can you see there's some sort of residue on that one? Go on. No, I'll have a look at that at the end, actually, because it will spoil what comes next, which is the bloody badge. Never understood this. So every time I say it, but why? Why Why is this in here? Who wants to uh, commemorate the fact they bought a box of stuff? It's weird. Put the money towards something groovy. Like, for instance, this looks nice already, Transformers Hexbug. Right, the bad news is it does seem to be based on the um, Bay film. The good news is it doesn't have anything to do with the design, so we can let it off. So it's literally a hex bug, which if you haven't seen is like a little plastic bug with legs which vibrates very violently and quite good fun. It uses children for hours, frightens dogs for years. Um, so this is a Transformers one? I see, so it just kind of has little arms that go and fit in here somewhere. Um, it's basically it's a hex bug with a crap thing on top that opens up to reveal Optimus Prime's face. Great. Oh, he's going. Hang on. Ooh, ah! Sorry, just got a screwdriver stuck in my elbow, which is never a good thing. Right, how are we going to do this? Um, on this. Go, Hexbug! It's not really working that well on here. It sounds like some sort of awful actual insect. Oh well, if you can get these on a flat surface, which I don't immediately have access to, they are pretty cool and fun. Yep, happy with that. Um, not entirely sure it really has anything to do with Transformers as such, but we don't mind, at least it wasn't crap. Right, what have we got here? There's some more guff in the bottom. We've got a rather nice, slightly faded Autobot symbol with the loyalsubjects.com, which can obviously be immediately cut off and then you can stick this in your car or something. Um, sticker seat for Mulg. Use these stickers and show your support for some of the top MLG teams. What? Team Envy. It has an N. Team Curse has some fire, and Team Optic has another. Absolutely no idea. This is what, some sort of gaming league or something? Ah, League Gaming. Major League Gaming. Millennium League Gaming. Um, Micturation League Gaming. I've got no idea. Oh, wait, this might give us the answer. <coughs> Exclusive deal for loot. It's five dollars. Yeah, one month of game battles. But why? It is Major League Gaming. Thank you. Why the hell will they not say what it stood for? Um, well, I don't give a monkey's about those, which is why I have publicly shown the codes. First person to type that in, get some stuff. Do enjoy. Oh, well, that's the lot. Hmm, most of the stuff was quite good. Could have done without the dodgy quality sweatband advertising something I've never heard of. But um, other than that, we can look through the book. Like us, there's more to them than meets the eye, says Optimus Prime. Oh, God. Please don't show me the Michael Bay films. Oh, God. God almighty, look at it, the rotting corpse of Bumblebee. <laughs> Horrifying. And um, then we've got talking to these people who do stuff. A crap maze. Here are some men who got sent stuff. Some of them were women. It's that kind of thing. Mega crate. Well, what's in the mega crate? This is the um, <clears throat> thing that you can win and cost a fortune. You can have a big hex bug, uh, another one of them, but a different colour. Uh, San Diego Comic Con exclusive Metro. Oh my god, Metroplex was like transformed into a whole city or something. Not actual real scale, but it's still a very big transformer. So that presumably is equally as massive as the original. A Wii U Pro controller. I keep meaning to get one of those. And a Mario and Luigi Deluxe set Wii U. Oh, that's quite a nice little thing to win, isn't it? Transformers name generator. Oh, follow the chart below to find your transformer name. Tweet your creation. Right, first letter of my first name S Ice. Last letter of your last name, Slinger. Ice Slinger. Well, yeah, that does sound vaguely transformery. So, Marty McPrime t shirt. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the Optimus Prime one looks cooler than Grimlock. Humph. Oh, well, we've done the lot. And, uh, yeah, none of those look particularly good. It must be said, actually. MLG Terry cloth wristband. Tell Terry you can have his cloth back. It's fallen to bits. Right. Um, which one of these is leaking the least? I will eat it. Ooh, that one's leaking the most, I think. No, that's pretty bad. I think they're all leaking. I am going to try the watermelon one, just because it's a flavour we don't generally get over here. Extreme Sours. I like things like this as a general rule. 
if I can get them out of this horrible sticky packet. Oh. Mm. 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 Wow. That is sour. Crikey. Blimey. Mm. As my aunt would say, it draws your ass up to your elbows. Blimey. Anyway, that's that for June. If you want your own one, there's a code below. If you don't want your own one, there's a code below, but ignore it. Hmm. Well, from my point of view, they managed to completely avoid all the crap Transformers, with the exception of the Hexbug, and that was quite a nice thing in its own, so bonus points for that, lads. Go, Optimus. That'll show Megatron. Oh.